guys, Sponge Murphy here, back with another fantasy magic item review. A uh, set of videos where I look through all the fantasy books that I have, pick out a magic item that takes my fancy and just have a look at it. And this is mostly ideas for conversion works that I could do, and, uh, and just pretty cool stories to go with it. So this week's magic item is the Rod of Flame and Death from the Vampire Count's Army book. This is an enchanted item and it comes in at 40 points. And um, the fluff says, the eye sockets of the skull atop this ages old rod glow bright with magical fire and its jaws clatter and gnash constantly. It contains a spell of fiery destruction that takes the shape of a shrieking skull. When the skull detonates upon its targets, thick tendrils of green black flames swirl around them, turning everything they touch to ash. Now I went through this army book and there isn't a lot of magic items that really took my eye um, there were one or two that were kind of okay and this was literally the last item in the book I think it was the last item anyway yeah, the next page is all the the army details so um, so was literally saving the best for last for something like this so basically this thing is like a rod with a skull on it and it gives kind of the rules on the bomb it gives him uh, a magic missile spell in D6, strength 4, hits, flame and attack. So it's like a fireball spell, just like the lower fire. Um, it's just a, a fireball spell. Now I don't know whether it's a little bit stronger or a little bit weaker than that, but basically that's what it does. Um, this is something I'd really like to make. I think you'd have to use it on a necromancer. I don't think you'd want to have this on, um, on a vampire himself. Um, but I think the only kind of necromancer model out there is the kind of the newest one that they brought out a couple of years ago where it's kind of like the old guy kind of hunched over um, and let's have a look it says so you have your skull on top and some of the skulls I have left are from the old skeletons um, from Games Workshop and they, they're, they're big they're kind of like out of proportion a little bit so their skulls are kind of perfect for that the only thing is it's mouth is closed on all them skulls I think the newer ones have their open mouth but um, it says here it's jaws clatter and gnash constantly so you kind of want to have it open a little bit and what I thought straight away was just paint it like a normal skull and well you could skull throw on skull really if you wanted to have a bigger one again on top of a, a magic rod but um, paint it like a normal skull put um, what was it like, like a fiery glow from its eyes now whether you wanted to do it like the red and orange type of fire or because at the end of it it says when the skull detonates upon its targets uh, green black flames swirl around them so you could do the normal kind of ready orange fire or you could do your own kind of green and black kind of effects glowing out of it um, and then if you were really good even again if you wanted it you could do like from green stuff like flames coming out of it um, I'm not sure I don't think I have spare parts for that um, to try and come up with it without sculpting something. It will be something that I'd really like to do. Um, I just I think I'd have to try and find the right model for it. I don't know if that old guy necromancer one would fit it. Um, I'd have to have a look on their website to see what type of necromancers. Actually, I'll have a quick look now. I think my web browser is open. No. Um, I'll just pause this and have a look. Okay, so this is the necromancer guy I'm on about. This guy here, um, it could fit. It would work actually. I think I just maybe I was just a bit off thinking. The only other guy I well, you could give to anyone really, and I'm sure you don't have to give it to, like just a Games Workshop model. There's like plenty of other models out there, but I just I just like to use Games Workshop ones. Um, the only other guy that I think I'd like to give to either would be the White King. Where you could replace the sword with a staff. And you could be like holding it forward with the skull. With the fire or flames coming out of it. So I think there's kind of your two options. And the Viking can take magic items. So this one comes in a 40 points. So he can take it. He can get up to 50. So if you want to like have like a fluffy game with that type of stuff. And um, he's more than eligible to take it. So um, that's it for this week's magic item look at. Or looking at. <laughs> can't even talk. Um, the Rod of Flame and Death from the vampire accounts book so let me know what you guys think um, is it something worth trying to do up for a model I think it is definitely is something I'd like to try and do and uh, it's nice to try and it's nice finding items like this every now and again so uh, let me know what you guys think leave a comment below hit the like button and uh, make sure you subscribe if you haven't 
and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.